Roseanne White here. It's Wednesday and it's time for a workout with the newest Life Pro training system. So I'm going to hang out here for a few minutes while everyone comes on board, jumps in, whether you're joining me on Facebook in our private VIP page or our public page, or maybe you're joining me on, on the YouTube channel. Welcome, welcome. Today I have for you specifically a barbell weight training uh, workout, but uh, our our new system just was launched, soft one launched by me on Sunday uh, last week, and then Amber did a, an amazing job showing how the whole triform three in one weightlifting system from Life Pro works, puts together how easy it is to go from the kettlebell to the dumbbell to the barbell. Easy, affordable, and as always from Life Pro, we're talking about a lifetime guarantee, lifetime warranty on products with amazing customer service. So um, it's Wednesday and every Wednesday I show up here live to share with you my experience from over 25 years of weight training, personal training, yoga, Pilates, all sorts of prehab, rehab, post rehab exercises for my clients. So, if you're one of my one of my peeps, if you're anywhere in those active aging fifty plus folks with issues in your tissues, you come to the right place. Life Pro and Life Pro works with all sorts of people, from young to old athletes to people that are not so athletically inclined that may have suffered injuries or have surgeries. So today our program is all about strengthening your body. I am going to be sharing with you approximately 14 different exercises. This is going to be a basic barbell weight lifting training session. I'm going to go through some specifics and then the exercises. If you have questions, please put them in the chat because I will try to answer them if not now. For sure later on save this video share it with friends it'll be on our vip page it'll also be in the youtube life pro channel so we've got lots of things coming for you in the future besides all the things we have in the past between our amazing products like the vibration platform the balance trainer the um our squat our uh, bulgarian squat product like there's so many good things coming out right now and as a trainer I'm super excited because I use all of these products with my clients and they love them too so without further ado I am not going to talk about the system per se in the three different things except to tell you with kettlebell you you can lift anywhere between 2 to 21 pounds with our dumbbell and yes it's a single dumbbell three to 40 pounds, and there's a lot you can do with one dumbbell. So don't cut yourself short on that saying, why would I want one dumbbell? Because honestly, there's a lot of work to be had with one dumbbell. And of course, the barbell. The barbell, when you're fully wrapped, is 43 pounds, but it can go as light as 4.5 pounds. So something for everybody, beginner in weight training to seasoned weight training professional, this product's for you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and talk to you a little bit first about some basics on when you're using a barbell. I've been teaching barbell weight training, oh gosh, since about 2000 and about 2000. Uh, a program came out called Body Pump and it was all about barbell weight training. So that means that's 23 years ago when I started doing this stuff. And uh, I still do it now to this day. So I'm gonna take the bar. I'm gonna go to a fairly lightweight, just, just to demonstrate a few principles that apply to no matter what you're doing with the barbell. So bend down at the knees. We're going to go to, um, I'm going to go to just about nine pounds. So this is fairly light. Okay. But I want to explain to you two basic stances. Okay. You have a set stance. So the set stance feet are together. Then you heel and toe apart. That's your set stance. It's about as uh, a little bit wider than my hip joints, but as wide as my shoulders. That's your set stance. And we do these, uh, this stance for some exercises, but when it comes to others, like pulling the bar up in an upright row or overhead shoulder presses, I like a split stance. 
So the split stance, all I'm going to do, I'm in my set stance, I'm going to slide one leg back. So my heel's lifted in the back, and my front heel is pushing down in the front. My weight's balanced between front and back. This way, I don't sway a lot. I'm pretty solid there. And if you are too narrow, this is surfboarding. We're not surfboarding. We want that split stance with one foot back. And take a fair, fairly generous step back. Because that way you're in from front to back, left to right, you're solid. It's like a long rectangle, okay? So know the difference between set stance and split stance. Now, in terms of grip, I like to go where my index fingers are just outside of my thighs when I'm in my set stance. And then when it depends on what exercise I'm doing. When I'm in an upright row, my hands come in line with my thighs so I can lift the bar to the chest. Elbows are in front. Okay, elbows are in back here, they're in front, and shoulders are down. Now, when I go into a row, I may go narrow or wide. So I just kind of slide my hands around. And if you get really sweaty, and some people do, you might want to wear weight training gloves for this, just so the, there's a nice a texture on this bar, so you shouldn't slip around too much. But if you're really sweaty, you might want to wear weight training gloves. So I talked about set stance and split stance. Grip, narrow, regular, and wide. And now the third thing I want to talk about is a transition from the bar being below the hips to above the chest. And I talked a little bit last week when we used the kettlebell about the clean and press, uh, which is, I think, much more challenging when we're working with the single, the kettlebell to do this move, but I like doing it with the barbell. And if you have any rotator cuff issues, this might be challenging. So again, start with light weight. And let me, I want to really, it's really important that you know this because when you start getting heavier on this, uh, form is everything. So when I do a clean and press, meaning I'm trying to get this bar from my, below my hips to above my shoulders, I'm always in a split stance. Okay. Um, so I'll go from, from, um, my set stance to a split stance. I slide the bar up to, I'm going to call it the, the chest line, and then I flick my wrist so my elbows come under, and now the weight is stacked in the heel of my hands, and I can push up, okay? So I have my elbows quite close in, so that weight comes up. Now, when I want to take that bar down, I bring the elbows up over the bar, and down. What tends to happen is a lot, and I just actually showed, I was working with a client, and sure enough, they they weren't um, familiar, and they instead of doing a clean and press, they did a forearm curl. So forearm curls are fine, but you can see, and this is lightweight, if I'm doing a forearm curl, it's going to go a little bit in my back, right? And it's going to work my forearms a lot. It might even strain forearms if you're not strong enough. So we're going up, elbows wide. I flick the elbows, come down. The, the weight is close to the chest. It's almost like I'm going to touch my nose to press up. Then I can adjust my grip wider if I want to take it on the meaty part of my back. Now, this is one last thing I'll talk about then the workout, okay? So I know I'm talking a lot about form, but form is everything. So I have pretty flexible shoulders. So as you can see, my elbows come forward and my weight is on the meaty part of the back. It's not on my neck. If the weight's on your neck and your elbows are back, trust me guys, this is gonna not only hurt your neck, it's gonna stress your back out. So I bring my elbows forward my weight's between front and back foot. And then I can go ahead and do my lunges or my squats, or I can do my shoulder presses, okay? And then I come down. So I think there was one more thing. Oh, so the last thing I'll talk about. If you, for some reason, cannot get that bar up and behind your head because your pecs, your chest is too tight, then I wanna suggest that you hold the bar like this. Okay, you can just kind of bring the bar here and you can do your squats. You can do your lunges with the bar over your chest. Okay, so there's my lunge. 
and then my squats. Okay. Lastly, if that is not going to work for you, squats can simply be done with your arms lengthened out, set stance, and you just sit back. So if you don't have one of our other products, like the glute blaster or the um, Bulgarian split, uh, split squat machine, if you don't have those or you haven't, you've got tight ankles and you're not working with the uh, squat wedge pros, this is going to be a, a good way for you to start getting into your squat position with really good form. Okay, so review this, check it out, even if you don't have the Triform yet, but it's coming your way. Take a broom, okay, take a regular broom or a pole, whatever you have, and practice those shoulder moves because they are very important in transitioning your weight, okay? So let's see, I have talked for over 10 minutes about this now. Let's get into the workout. Now, in today's workout, um, I'm going to stick to probably somewhere between, oh gosh, what do I want to do here? I'm going to probably do about 18 to 21 pounds, depending on what the work is. Simple transition to change the weights. It's just a locking device system. In terms of reps, and this is a, a something for you to keep in mind, I'm going to do about 12 reps of each exercise. These exercises I will put in the chat so you'll know them. You can follow them. And I'm going to break these exercises, every exercise, into about three parts. We're going to do a four by four count, meaning down four counts, up four counts. A three one, down three, power up on one. And a two two, even down, even up. So it's very continuous, but it's just a little quicker than the four four. And in some cases, I'll just do singles, which are a quick move. But as um, I heard from my friend Amber and her mother, trainers, Momentum is not strength. So if you're using momentum to do your bicep curls or anything else, you're going to be stressing your joint, not strengthening your muscles. Okay, so let's kick into this. You want to be a little warmed up, and I'm not going to be, um, I'm not going to necessarily show you a warm up today, but I will go ahead and I'm going to add, I'm going to go into 18 pounds. Okay, so let's begin. Feet together. Heel, toe out. There's my set stance. My fingers are just, my index fingers are rubbing the sides of my thighs. And I'm going to the first exercise, deadlift. So, ladies, think about this. And men, think about it differently. Ladies, you're shaving your thighs. The bar comes just below the kneecaps. And you lift the chest. So we're down, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. This is a very smooth move. Unlike kettlebell which is a little more intense in terms of speed. I'm gonna go down two, three, four, and up two, three, four. Setting my shoulder blades in the pockets. I'm never rounding my back. I call that cashewing, the back is flat. Now I'll break to three and one. Down two, three, and it's a quick up. Inhaling down, exhale up. So if you have a little more flexibility, you can go below the kneecaps. But I don't go too much further than below the kneecaps. Three counts down, one count up. Now smoothly down for two, and up for two. Down for two, up. So it's very smooth. There's no bottom to this exercise. There's no top. It's continuous. And just this alone starts getting my heart rate up. Last time here, we got 12 reps deadlift. From deadlift, transition. One foot goes back or forward, so I'm taking it forward. And I'm going to go into an upright row and down. Now, I might want to go a little closer in and my elbows go up. The elbows always stay in front of the bar. Let me show you from the side. Up, two, three, four. Down, two, three, four. Smoothly, keeping the chest lifted. And I'll go one more time in this smooth, slow pace to get used to the motion. And then I change it. Now watch my wrists. They don't crack, uh, knock in. I keep my wrists neutral. A lot of people tend to break their wrists and down quick. Slowly up and drop. All the way up slowly and drop. One more time. Breathe in and blow it out. Now two, two. So it's smoothly up and smoothly down. Exhale and inhale. I don't care how you do it, ladies and gentlemen, just breathe. 
nice and smooth up. And down one more time, I'll show you from the side. And up and down. Now I'm gonna go to a deadlift with a wide row. So I go back to my set stance, hands wide. I'm gonna come down for just to my knees. I'm gonna quickly go up four, three, two, and lift. A little more straight, not stress, but work on the back. Down to my knees and elbows wide. Four, three, two, and one. I come up. Let me show you from the side. Down, and it's one, two, three, four, and come on up. Last time. Hands from the hips. This is for the rear deltoids. And come up. Now I'm going to transition again. Clean and press. And I'll do four of these just to show what it looks like. Up, push, down. That's one. I'm going to get my camera to focus because it likes to autofocus when I move quick. Up, press, down. Okay, let me show you from the side. Elbows, I flick my wrists, push up, and down, one more. Up, press, and down. So that's your clean and press quickly. Now from the clean and press, I'm going to go into an overhead press. Again, one foot back, upright row it. Here's the clean, press up, and down. Four counts up, four counts down. So you can keep it right above your head if it's too much weight or too stressful and below the chin, or you can go all the way up and all the way down. One more time, I'll go slow. Up for four counts, shoulder blades drop. Now, let's go up to three and drop. Hit the brakes. Or you can go up quick and down slow. Either way, but I'm gonna go slow up. That's where the muscles work and drop. One more and drop. Now smooth it out. Smoothly up, smoothly down. My wrist is neutral, okay? I'm not dumping, okay? I'm not dumping my wrist. The heel the hands. Smoothly up and down. Two more. And one more. From here, I'm gonna take the bar over my head and go on to the meaty part of my back. I'm ready for some squats. Split stance or set stance. My thumbs are going to be on top, not underneath. I'm going to put them on top. Elbows forward. We're going to go down, two, three, four, and up. Now the heart rate's going to come up. Down, two, three, four. Watching the alignment of the knees. You don't have to go down far to make this work. Remember all the things we've been teaching you with the squat wedge pro and the split. Uh, the Intensiflex Bulgarian split squat machine, the Intensiflex is awesome. Here we go, three, one, down, two, three, power up. Down, two, three, power up. Look where my elbows are, they're not back here. The weight's on the midi part of my back. One more. Now it's smoothly down, and I'll go three quarter view. Down for two, up for two. I want to feel like I'm pushing my heels away from the center. Down and up. One more time. Chin stays in. Now, I'm going to just change this a little bit. I'm going to go heel to a one a little bit wider and we'll do a little single sumo squats. Here's a heart rate blast. Abs have to be pulled in on this, guys. Watch those knee alignment. Halfway there. I said 12, right? Holy crap. Maybe I should have said only four. Three more. A lot of power knees. And up. One foot goes back. I'm going to come all the way up, down, rotate, and back. Now, I'm going to do a grip change. And I think I'm going to go into... A little bit lighter weight. So I'll put the unit down. 16 pounds it is. And how here's my grip change. I put the bar on my thigh, palm up, palm up. Okay, elbows in. Bicep curl up for four counts and down. I'm gonna let the weight 
roll to my fingertips. I don't want to white knuckle this, okay? So fingers are relaxed. I'm rolling out, let them roll all the way down. Up for four counts and down for four counts. Use the breath, lift your chest. Shoulder blades are flat. One more time in a slow, and then we're gonna change it to the three, one. Now you're welcome to take your foot back if you want. Up for three, down quick. Up for three counts, down quick. You gotta hit the brakes, a lot more abs. Up for three. You can always go quick, up, down slow. I just wanted to show you that, two by two. Up for two counts. Now for my bicep curl, I'm going to go into a narrow press up. So when the weight comes above my hips, I got one foot back, elbows are in, and I'm reaching knuckles to the sky and press it up. Narrow press up. And I just want to do 12 single reps, push up, working the anterior deltoid. Let me show you from the side. I like my split stance on this. Five more. Now, if 12 is not your fancy right now, go for eight. One more time. And I go from the narrow press ups to a narrow row. I go into a deadlift. I'm going to pull one, two, three, rise up. Let me show you from the front. Down to the knees, tuck the chin in one, two. I'm pulling those shoulder blades into center and up. I've got two more, show you a different angle here. Down, one, elbows stay in. I keep that bar close to my thighs last time. Weight in my heels and up. Okay, grip change. I want to show you, this is kind of my fancy, you flip it. But don't do that if you're a beginner. I'll only do that once. So otherwise your grip changes like this and overhead, overhand. Okay, last standing exercise, lunge. And I love lunges. They work every muscle in your leg, glutes, hamstrings, quads, calves. So we come into a split stance, come up, clean it, press it up and come over. I'm gonna show you some options. So if I've got, I want you to remember what we talked about with the intensive flex. 90-90 is my setup. And I come all the way up. That's how wide I wanna be. Okay, I wanna make sure you see this. Elbows forward. So I'm gonna come down two, three, four, up two, three, four. I'm pushing through my front heel and my back toes. I'm going to do two more slow ones, and then I'm going to change the dynamic of the move. So a little tip, wide and long, okay? So we're going to come down three counts, power up, down two, three, power up. One more time. I'm going to give you options on the other leg if this doesn't work for your shoulders. It's a big chest stretch. So let's smoothly down and smoothly up. Down two, up two, breathe in and out one more time and up. Okay, so to change this out, I'm gonna bend my knees, press up and I can hold the bar like this. This may be for you, okay? Here's my left foot forward. I'm gonna come up and I'm coming down for two and up for two, down for two. Actually, I should be four counts. One, two, three, four, up two, three, four, down two, three, four. Now, if it's too much to hold the weight, let me show you the last option here. My left foot's in line, let me get in line, the camera here. Left foot in line, okay? So when I come up arm distance, I come up. Now my head is back over my hips. I'm gonna come down three counts, power up. I'm holding lightly and up. Lunges, when done properly, 
are so effective and it's so hard for us in the beginning to get this wide and this deep. Two counts, down two, up two. You can put your hand behind your head to make sure your head's not driving forward. One more time and up. Okay guys, so heart rate is really going up on this. We're gonna go to on the floor for chest press, tricep press and some abs and we're done. So let me show you what's going on. I'm at 16 pounds. I'm gonna go back to 18. I probably could do more on my chest press to be honest with you. So, because I'm transitioning from chest press to tricep extension and not switching weights out, I'm gonna stay with the same weight. But you can always go through a transition and go lighter depending on your need. But I'm gonna go back to 18 pounds. Actually, you know what? I think 21 I can handle. Okay, so here's how it's gonna go. I come down to the floor, however you can make it down there, and you're going to put the bar on the crease of your hips. Okay, get in a comfortable spot that you have room, because that bar is going to go behind you. Let me move my balance trainer up. Okay, elbows in at the side, knuckles to the sky. I'm going to push up, then I'm going to make my hands wider. Let me show you from what I mean from here, how wide I am. Okay, elbows come down to the sides and up. So here's our four counts. One, two, three, four, up, two, three, four. If you want a little more challenge, using more abs. Now I don't have a flat back here. I have a neutral pelvis, which means I have a little mouse house in my back and my abs are gonna work harder. But this is a basic, so keep your feet down. And up, two, three, four. Now you can come down slow and push up. But don't lock your elbows up. Keep soft. Okay. Down for three. Just to the nipple line and up. Just always peek at your wrist that you don't have any wrinkles. And then you want neutral grip. That's what we're calling neutral grip. Down two. Up two. Again, no bottom, no top. It's a nice smooth up and down. Belly pulled in, ribs knitted in. Now watch my transition. This is wide hands. At the top, I'm gonna bring my, my hands right in line with my shoulders, okay? Elbows stay in place. I bend down just to my hairline and up. Inhale down for four, strong wrists, and up for four. Shoulder blades are flat. I'm not popping my ribs up on this at all. Nice and smooth. I've actually got my thumbs on top of the bar. Um, if you're not comfortable with your thumbs wrapping over, you can. that's called a, a true grip. You can always keep your thumbs underneath, but I like thumbs on top. Here we go. Three, two, one, power up. Slow, 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 and press. Yeah, I think this was just enough weight. One more time, then we'll do our smooth move. Two twos. Down for two, up for two. Just by changing your speed, you'll change how you're working your muscles, you'll change your stabilizers, those quick tw twitch muscles. And last time, and up. Now watch how I transition. I take the bar and I'm just gonna bring it over my head. Now I can hold on like this or I can do an overhand grip, whatever works for you, okay? But I wanna work some abs here. And this is going to keep my shoulders down and my ribs down. So I'm going to do overhand grip. Tabletop legs, reverse crunch, and back. And exhale. I'm not, it's a little tiny bit of momentum, but it's definitely up. So if you can only go a little bit right now, that's fine. As you get stronger in your core, maybe you come all the way and you roll down slow. But again, shoulders and head don't stay, pop up and slow down two more times and last one now from here we're going to bicycle one leg then the other push the heels exhale ribs are down
And here we go, knees in. I think I'm frozen. Oh no. Am I frozen? It looks like I am. Hold on. So guys, I look like I'm frozen in the screen. Can someone type in the chat that they can see me? Because my freak, my screen is frozen. Yes, no, anyone see me? Just a thumbs up. Okay, I'm not sure, so I'm gonna continue on because I'm almost done. Hope I think you're off. 